Greetings guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Odyssey and on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make Afro House. So we're gonna break down a song that I was busy making and don't forget that I dropped a new sample pack, it's called the Afro House and Tech Essential Sample Pack number four. So on this video, I'm actually using that sample pack to showcase how to make Afro House. So better make sure that you go to odyssey.com or odyssey.site to actually get this simple pack so i'm going to play for you so that you know what we are dealing with and then from there we're going to break down this track so that you can be able to do something like this as well so i want to start it from here that's basically it uh don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel so now let's break this down easy you know so number one uh let's get to the drums first i use the kick first then it looks like this that's how easy it is and the next thing i use this uh is some tops It's all the sound, then it together they sound like this. Nothing hectic. The tops come from a sample pack as well. So now I went to some snares, right? So I'm using the FPC for the snares. So the FPC, I added three snares inside. These ones. And then what I did was uh, pan the two and then probably decreased the volume of the other ones but it's fine like this and then now it sounds like this on the track and it looks like that and that's the first thing that's the drums and then I added like a rain stick uh, it looks like this sounds like this and then on the track, it's like nothing too hectic. And then now I added another FPC onto the song. And then I added some woods. But as you can hear, they have like some delay in them. Uh, the delay comes from here. We added like fruity delay on these uh, on one, three time. And then let me play them alone so that you can hear how they sound. And I'm gonna do it with and without the delay, you know? So I'm gonna play without the delay first. This is how they sound. And then I added the delay. So the delay, the delay kind of makes it run a little bit faster, you know? So that's what I needed so that it can have that kind of three step feel, but it's also not a three step, you know? So that's how it sounds. And then I also did the same thing with this where I added shakers. This is how the shakers look. And sound. And it's how the MIDI looks. And it sounds like this. So I added a couple of shakers here, one, two, three, four, five, six shakers into this whole thing. And then they sound like that. And then let's go here. I created some type of a feel. And it sounds like this. So as well as two rim shots. 
with a lot of reverb. These are the rim shots, and this is the reverb. Too much reverb. And then we added some uh, rises and a downshifter to make it sound like this. So let's play the whole drums set first, and it sounds like this. And with the riser, it sounds like this. So you have that now. So the drums sound a little bit more full. And then now let's get into uh, synths and pads and whatnot. So I added a pad from GMS. So it's pad number one from GMS. And then it sounds like this. And that's how it looks. And then um, this is how I EQ it. So you can see there's a lot of uh, cutoffs, you know, because I didn't want it to be too bright into the song. I wanted it to be something that's just gonna be there, but you don't really pay attention to. So that's how it sounds. And then the next thing, it's Hive, and then it sounds like this. And this is the preset. I think also it added some delay in it. Looks like that. Also one three time. And then on top of this, there's some kind of uh, automation here. It's an EQ on the hive. So I also added Spire. Another plug, and it sounds like this. Play it alone. Sounds like that, and then with the song sounds like. And again, I added some delay on it, one three time, and some reverb. And then let's go and do some Omnisphere. Omnisphere is like this. Some choir from Omnisphere. Uh, choir women. It's also just a copy and paste from the path in GMS. Looks like that. And then we also kind of did uh, some cutoffs, you can see. And then this one is the automation. Uh, I'll play from here so as you can see how it automates. And that's how easy it does, you know, easy does it. And then I add a keyscape. Uh, cinematic, and it sounds like this. And some contact, you know, just needed some ambient sound, you know. So I used uh, these 10 voices. Mist of time. That's how. That's what the preset is. And then it sounds like this. I'll put it here. And from there you have a baseline. Uh, I use three oscillators from FL Studio. Uh, want to take down the volumes of the two oscillators at the bottom. You can choose. Uh, which wave you want or the shape that you want for your bass and then also take down this like octaves down and then you choose your wave and then it sounds like this and for it to glide like 
the way it does. Uh, you put the porter in the mono, increase the slide, make sure that the maximum polyphony is one, so it's monophonic. And then, so it's like that, it lights higher, and it's like that. And I think that's everything that's on the beat. Uh, I'll play it so that you guys can hear what it sounds like from the beginning until maybe the bridge. And then you tell me what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel because it helps me to grow. Also helps me get motivated to do more videos like this. So guys, I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to get the new sample pack. It's out. Afro House and Tech Essentials number four. Go out and get it. Peace. Love you guys so much. Let's play this from the beginning. Like the beninging beninging.